Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course teaching you everything you need to know about this program. If you enjoyed today's lesson, be sure to check out the link in the description for the full Masterclass course. Alright guys, so now we're going to be moving on to exporting and I want to kick off this section right now by just talking about general exporting and overall how to actually move in some just very cool ways to actually go about exporting and uh, just make your time when actually um, in the exporting stages much easier than it would be. So for example, right now I'm going to jump straight into this and I'm going to show you how to do it. So the general basics of how to actually render a section of a sequence is the in and out points that I've been telling you about. So right now we've got our in point set to the beginning and our out point set to the end, meaning that we when, when, when we actually go to render this, it will encompass everything in between these two in and out points. Also, for example, if our clips were here, but our in and out point was here, if we actually go to export this, it's not going to render these clips over here because they're not within our in and our out points. And remember, to set those in and out points, you go to the place where you would want your sequence to begin and go ahead and press I. And then you go to the place where you're, you would want your sequence to end and go ahead and press O. And that's going to seal that off so that it renders and actually just encompasses this entire area right here. And I'm actually just using the example that we edited uh, in the previous section together in our mini exercise. And um, this right here, obviously, would be the selection that would be rendered. Now, let me just drag this over here and also let me just go ahead and in and out the beginning here again, right? Just so we can have this a little bit neater over here to the side, but I quickly want to show you a way that I've actually already showed you a fair few times so far, but I need to explain a little bit more in depth, and that is the pre-render. So you guys can actually go up to sequence and um, go ahead and press render in to out, and that will actually pre-render your footage in and out. So if we go ahead and do that, it will actually um, just start to figure out what's there and create this yellow line here into a green line, meaning that has been rendered and that has been essentially processed through the computer. And the great thing why I love doing these pre-renders right here, these render in and outs, is because these actually count towards your final render. You see how we've rendered in and out here, turning this yellow line up here to green, meaning that when we actually go to render in our final stages and actually export this, okay, it will be quicker because we've already done a base layer of rendering and kind of started to figure out what uh, is actually encompassed in this in and this out section. So it's extremely important to actually go ahead and be keeping, um, keeping it kind of in your brain to be rendering those in and outs. And you can actually go a step further and if we had effects on here, which we haven't actually fully gotten to yet, but we could also render effects in and out as well, okay? And both of these right here are things that I actually get into the kind of the, the, the hang of doing throughout my project where I'm constantly doing a little bit of a render in and a render out. And if I've got heavy effects in there, I'm definitely going to be wanting to render those effects in to out. But again, I'm going to be getting to that a little bit later just because when I actually go to my final exporting process, this is going to be loads easier and it's going to make that export so much quicker. Now, in terms of my general export settings, if you guys actually go up here to file and then export media, you will be greeted with the export settings or um, alternatively, you could quit off of that and press control and then M and I mean, hold control and press M and boom, you're going to get the exact same stuff, the export settings on the left hand side, it's going to show you a, uh, a, a preview of what your output will obviously be looking like. And then here you have all of your settings. Now for me, my general export settings, I put the format on H.264. That is standard um, mp4 format and I always get the preset to match source high bit rate that is going to be rendering here in the uh, in the highest bit rate possible and then of course I would proceed to put my output name right here and um, obviously designate where it is going to uh, save to so we'll just you know type save or uh, uh, export export save I don't know it's just a random name 
um, but that's just to show you how you could actually save the name there. And um, then you can actually just go ahead and leave the match source on because that's actually going to just uh, specify everything to be that of your particular image. And then you can actually go ahead and just press export. And that would be my 100% general export settings. And uh, overall, there's not even much tweaking you need to do. Just really the, the key thing that you need to know. I'm going to cancel that because we obviously don't need to go through fully with the render. And um, the key thing that you actually have to be uh, on is make sure that you have sequence in and out okay so that's that source range and that is set to sequence in and out by default so that's why I always tell you to add the in and out points because it's actually more work to go up here to entire sequence because sequence in slash out is the default that it's always set to okay and also you just want to make sure you've got mp4 format going on right there and that right there guys is my general export settings Boom, there you have it guys. That is another lesson done out of the Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course that is 100% free on my channel. Uh, there's a complete playlist literally working through everything from the most possible basic things available in Adobe Premiere Pro, like, you know what I mean, creating a new project, uh, you know, all the way to the most advanced stuff available to you in the entire program. We're literally breaking through the entire thing. If you haven't already gone over and checked out that playlist, then by all means, if you've made it to this point in the video, I would 100% urge you to. Seriously, this is an extremely useful playlist. By all means, uh, you know, even if you know the, the very basics, uh, you know what I mean? You can go here and just, uh, you know, pick and choose which lessons to actually partake in. It's not all extreme basic stuff. It, it uh, is sequential. So at the very bottom of the playlist, it is the most basic stuff and it's essentially working its way up to the most advanced stuff available in the entire um, uh program Adobe Premiere Pro CC and um, you know what I mean essentially we're just consistently adding videos to this playlist working our way up to the most advanced stuff obviously I've already created the entire course it's over seven plus hours it is also available on Udemy um, and uh, basically I'm just uh, taking my turn uh, taking my time to upload this content here keep on putting it into this playlist and then uh, once I've actually built up kind of like a, a, a let's say 50 plus uh, videos, all basically little mini lessons breaking down this entire program. Then I'm going to start pushing a lot of promotional content uh, on my actual, you know what I mean, you, you, uh, YouTube channel, just kind of pushing and directing you guys um, to this particular playlist and basically just trying to direct as many people as I can to this playlist because, uh, you know what I mean, I, I originally created this project as part of some commission work for a, uh, a really big Udemy um, instructor who was actually looking to branch off and to creating content about you know subjects he didn't actually know about uh, etc so I was hired to create this whole project we worked on this entire thing together for him to actually sell on Udemy but for me to actually just give away to you guys obviously I could have sold this thing if I wanted to I decided I didn't want to actually uh, you know try actually just get like a you know five dollars a pop for it ten dollars a pop for it whatever uh, you know what I mean whatever price I set it as instead I thought there was much more value just in actually giving the whole thing away, seeing as I'd already, you know what I mean, had some sort of monetary gain from it by the fact that I was actually hired to create this um, kind of big intricate project and kind of create the whole lesson plan, everything for this really big creator over on Udemy who literally has hundreds of thousands of students uh, that he's taught various different topics to across the years. Obviously, like I said, he brought me on as I was kind of like uh, someone who had knowledge in an area that he did not. We created the whole seven plus hour course. By all means, go to the playlist and check it out. It is the full Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course. If you guys know even loads about Adobe Premiere Pro, go click on the course. You will see a couple videos that you maybe didn't realize. I literally spent fucking hours combining all of my knowledge, uh, you know what I mean, into uh, of Adobe Premiere Pro, all the tips, tricks, and hacks I've picked up throughout using this in my day-to-day -day profession for the past years, uh, you know what I mean? So there's a huge amount of knowledge that I compiled into this thing. Overall, very helpful to anybody who likes Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm now going to leave the trailer that actually went on to uh, Udemy, the actual trailer that you can kind of watch before buying the course over on Udemy for the big instructors page. 
just so you guys can get a little bit more enticed if you're even still watching at this point by all means i'm sure a bunch of you are uh enjoy the trailer but the trailer is basically going to tell you everything i i just told you now go over check out the playlist in the description the complete adobe premiere pro cc master class course of 2018 here we go really hope you guys enjoy and find it helpful thanks for watching i'm a jack have a nice day guys and take it easy hey what's up guys my name is jack and welcome to the adobe premiere pro masterclass course i'm a freelance video editor slash videographer as well as youtuber with 70,000 subscribers producing weekly content based around video production and i'm going to be your tutor for this particular course and we're going to be walking through everything together from the most basic to the most advanced of video editing tactics available to you within Adobe Premiere Pro. We are going to start off with the introduction section where we get all the basics out the way and by the end of even this first section, you will have edited together your first basic sequence. And the list of things that I can guarantee you will know how to do by the end of this Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course ranges from such a huge amount of stuff, including a full understanding of all the tools and shortcuts available to you with an Adobe Premiere Pro, a complete understanding of animated titles, how to create basic ones all the way to advanced ones, how to create custom transitions, where we actually have hands-on activities to do this together, creating those custom transitions, as well as, of course, utilizing those basic default video and audio transitions. You will also have an understanding of the difference between color correction and color grading and also how to utilize both of these video editing and overall color improvement tactics in Adobe Premiere Pro. You will also have complete hands-on understanding of keyframe animation, whether that be using keyframes to lower the decibels of soundtracks, all the way to using keyframes to animate clip dimensions and of course animating text as previously mentioned. You will then have a complete understanding of exporting, whether that be general exporting, exporting for specific platforms using presets or even exporting in the maximum possible render quality available to you within Adobe Premiere Pro. You will then have a complete and intricate understanding of video speed and the speed manipulation tactics available to you in this program, whether that be using your simple reverses, your simple speed changes, or even the super advanced speed ramps and speed ramp transitions, which I am going to extensively get into in the video speed section of this course. We are then going to, in section 9, do all the ins and outs of advanced video effects, whether that be simply the VFX section all the way to all of the most user-friendly and time-saving methods. I have personally had to learn the hard way, but I've compiled all of these kind of cheat sheets into that advanced effects section to be saving you guys so much time throughout your creative process in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're then going to uh, actually complete an outro of the course to summarize everything you have learned and you will know how to do, as well as including a master project, which is kind of gonna be an unfiltered, kind of raw, hands-on experience and overall uh, letting you guys get an insight into what my actual real life live almost unedited raw video editing and creative process is going to look like in terms of creating a project for a client that I would actually be creating normally. Without further ado guys, there is so much in store for this Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. I can't wait to jump into it. And with that being said, let's do it.